Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 14th of 2022, well, it is titled Webb's Southern Ring Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, just as we saw yesterday, another image from the James Webb Space Telescope. And a few images have been recently released, and we will be seeing a lot more over the coming months and years from the new telescope. Now, James Webb Space Telescope is an image is a telescope that images in the infrared and part of the visible spectrum, especially the red and the orange. And it is much larger than the Hubble Space Telescope at a six and a half meter mirror. So very large telescope, more than twice the size of the Hubble. And here we see the southern ring nebula, which may lead you to understand that there is a northern ring nebula, or what is sometimes just called the ring nebula, and that they are both examples of planetary nebulae. And this one here, imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope, a planetary nebula, is what happens at the end of the life of a star, much like our own sun. And when the star goes through its final phases of life, the core continues to collapse and compresses down to a very high density and becomes essentially packed together as close as atomic material can. So as close as you can possibly get atoms together and the electrons in their outer shells then provide the force by repelling each other by having the same charge and then keeping them from collapsing any further. This becomes what we call a white dwarf star, which is the star you see down in this towards the center here. The white dwarf is compressed down to about the size of Earth. So you can take all the material in the sun. And if you squeeze those atoms as close together as you possibly can, you would get something about the size of our Earth. Now, while the core collapses down, the outer layers expand and eventually get expelled out into space. And that's what we see here, the outer layers that are being illuminated and energized by the uh, white dwarf star are then the outer were the outer layers of the star. So they continue to expand outward and the energy from that white dwarf emitting a lot of ultraviolet radiation because of its extremely high temperature excites those atoms and causes them to glow. So here we get to see those outer layers. And if we note it's not completely symmetrical, it could uh, be that there is actually a companion star here. And in fact, the companion star is what we are seeing with the white dwarf. So that star to the center is actually the companion star. And the white dwarf is not quite visible here. Uh, it is overwhelmed by the brightness of that companion. And the fact that the two are orbiting each other then can give us these unusual patterns that we see. So a planetary nebula can be very symmetrical, like the ring nebula in the northern sky, or it can be more asymmetrical, like the southern ring nebula here. And the differences could have to do with the fact that many stars are in multiple star systems, and those add an extra layer of complexity to the evolution of the star at the end of its life. So that was our picture of the day for July 14th of 2022. It was titled Webb's Southern Ring Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, preview to be Clavius and Tycho. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.